variety of different aircraft that we have to provide command and control. They range from drones to coalition aircraft to tankers to fighters, bombers, imaging aircraft. We're trying to provide the gap between the plan of war and then what you see on the scopes, which is the actual act of war. The U.S. Air Force flies out of a number of bases in the Middle East. Two key bases for the Mosul fight are in Doha and Abu Dhabi. They lead a coalition of 20 nations here with their own chain of command. All leading up to this man, Lieutenant General Jeffrey Harigian. Harigian controls the most sophisticated air power ever wielded by a general in the history of the world. I grew up a standard kid outside of Chicago. Loved the Blackhawks, Bulls, the Bears, and basically for me, all the way up through high school, that's all I wanted to do was go fly airplanes. That was it. Some days, I'll tell you, there's no better job. <laughs> I'm honored to be a part of it and have a chance to lead these airmen and support the mission we're on. It's very cool that I get a chance to still be able to fly and be out there on the line. Rolling up your sleeves and getting your boots dirty is all part of the job. A camera has never been allowed to film inside the cockpit of an F-22 on a mission until now. In a very close fight, from the uh, tactical level, we basically look for any warehouse that may have held their weapons, uh, command and control nodes, vehicle-borne IED factories. Those targets were all de developed over the last month, and then we started dropping bombs on them to ensure that any target that we knew had been out there, we took it out. Support. What we started to do is understand, okay, where are you guys going tomorrow? And then we essentially cratered the roads to make those roads impassable for the vehicle-borne IEDs, or at least slow them down so that we could see them and then target them in real time. If they're out there and they're uh, driving in their vehicles, they ought to be scared because we're looking for them. 